look at S9-2, which is a question that goes through the percentage of sales AR allowance method. If you haven't tried this on your own, please do that first and then come back to this solution video. The question says that during its first year of operations, Spring Break Travel earned revenue, earned revenue of $700,000 on account. So if it earned $700,000 of revenue on account, that equals our net credit sales. The industry experience suggests that spring break's bad debts will amount to 1% of revenues. At December 31st, 2019, accounts receivable totals 80,000. The company uses the allowance method to account for uncollectibles. So number one says to journalize spring break travels bad debt expense using the percentage of sales method. Okay, so we know that we use net credit sales because those are the amounts that went into AR. So we do that, we have the 700,000 and it tells us that it estimates bad debts will amount to 1% of revenues. So we multiply those sales by that estimated rate and we end up with $7,000. Now under the percentage of sales method, remember this is the one where we would ignore any previous allowance for doubtful accounts. It doesn't tell us one in this question anyways, but even if it had, we still book this full amount that we've calculated because this is the amount from the current year sales that we don't think that we'll collect. Whatever is sitting in the allowance count already, that's from previous years. So we're always adding this full amount only when we use the percentage of sales method. So now that we've collected that, we will debit our bad debt expense. And credit the allowance for doubtful accounts. and we're using this full $7,000. Okay, that's part one. Part two says show how spring break should report accounts receivable on its balance sheet at December 31st, 2019. So we're going to say that they're showing all the detail right on the balance sheet. So they're going to report their full AR, the allowance and calculate the net. So on the balance sheet, this would be part of current assets. We would see accounts receivable less the allowance for doubtful accounts. And that calculates our accounts receivable net. So our accounts receivable, it told us that the balance at the end of the year was 80,000. We just calculated this allowance for doubtful accounts. That's the amount we added to the account. Since it didn't tell us an opening balance, we have to assume that's the full amount there. So we're subtracting that. Whoops, my lines aren't lining up very well there. This was 7,000 and we subtract it to get our net accounts receivable of 73,000. Okay, so the key with percentage of sales is to remember that we're booking the full amount that we calculate as bad debt expense. So use that whole amount in our entry, regardless of what the previous allowance for doubtful accounts is. Next, you can complete S9-8, and this one will go through the aging of AR and percentage of AR. 